Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell from the thumbnail and title, I have another book box battle for you guys and it is going to be Lit Joy Crate versus Shelf Love Crates. For those who don't know, these are two of my book box subscriptions and this is a video I do to battle them out to see which box, in my opinion, did better this month. So I actually battled these boxes last month against each other. So this is actually only their second time battling against each other. And as a recap, Shelf Love Crate won last last month so will they win again I don't know we will see but we're gonna go ahead and start with lit joy crate sneak peek and the theme for lit joy crate was dressed for deception okay move some wormies and right on top we have oh it is a pin banner oh my gosh this is like my eighth pin banner now <laughs> This is gorgeous. Hold on, let me take it out. I don't know why it had to be wrapped in plastic, but this is the pin banner, and it says, who is the fairest of them all? Love this pin banner. That is so freaking pretty. Wow. Great start to the box. Next we have, ooh, oh, 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 I love it. Hold the phone, hold the phone. It is Oh my God, what is her name? Oh my God. Effie from the Hunger Games series. This is absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back it says Lit Joy Crate. I'm assuming, yes, it is a mirror and it has like two sides. Oh, oh, is it a magnet? Yeah, I think it's like a magnet. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Wow. First two items from Litcher Crate are good. Next, we have some pencils. And it says, pros before clothes. Books are the new black. It's chick to be geek. Stitch, please. And yes, queen. That's cute. I really like the quotes on there. Definitely not my favorite item. Um, I know a lot of people like getting pencils and stuff, so, okay. Next, we have some socks, and it looks like Cinderella. It says Sunday Socks by Lit Joy Crates. I do like socks, just pink, um, and it has, like, the birds and the mice when they're, like, sewing Cinderella's dress. And then Lit Joy Crate at the bottom. Not my favorite pair of socks that we've ever gotten, um, but it's still really cute. I love the colors, so I'll definitely be wearing them. Next, we have a zipper pouch, and it's Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. So it's like with the fairies changing her dress color. It kind of seems like it's geared for like a very younger audience. Not that I don't love Sleeping Beauty, like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty like were movies I grew up with, but I'll probably use this for Bella for her hair ties and ponytails and bows and stuff, like for when she's traveling. So it'll definitely be used. So, okay. And we have the trading cards. I do believe this is like a whole new set, um, like new artists and everything. Cause look at the new backing. That is very pretty. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. I'm not sure what fandom these are from, but again, they're gorgeous. I love adding these to my collection. And we are finally to the book. So the pouch this month is blue. Last month it was pink. So I don't know if they're just changing. I kind of like that we get different colors. Oh, and we have the letter from the author with an art print on the back. That's a very pretty art print. And the book is A Dress for the Wicked. Ooh. Sabotage is always in style. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, should be signed by the author. It is signed. And we have the same art print actually in the book. Let's see what it looks like without. So just pale blue and black on the spine. And Ledger Crate always does reversible dust jacket art. So let's take a look. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. True to its name, the sleepy town of Shy in 
Avon, Avon upon Kent is a place where nothing much happens. And for 18 years, Emmeline Watkins has feared that her future held just that, nothing. But when Madame Jolene, the head of the most admired fashion house in the country, throws open her prestigious design competition to girls from outside the stylish capital city, Emmy's dreams seem closer than ever they ever have before. As the first country girl to compete, Emmy knows she'll encounter extra hurdles on her way to the top, but there are surprises around every corner in the fashion house and distractions, from unexpected romance to competitors set on sabotage, threatened to derail Emmy's concentration for good. As Emmy navigates the twisted world of high fashion, she starts to wonder, will she be able to tailor herself to fit into this dark, corrupted race, and at what cost? Ooh, that sounds amazing. This kind of makes me think of Project Runway and I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so excited to read this. So guys, that was everything from Lit Joy Crate. Let's take a quick look at their pamphlet. It just shows the items, the Sleeping Beauty zipper pouch, Cinderella sewing socks, who is the fairest of them all pin banner, fashion phrase pencils, and the Effie Trinket pocket mirror, then the Lit Joy Collector's trading cards, which is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Wow, um, totally did not get that. And then the August optional add-ons, and the theme for September is Haunted Manor. Okay, so that was everything from Litra Crate. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? Definitely for me, the pen banner and the Effie mirror were my favorite. This being my absolute favorite. It is gorgeous. The pencils, Sleeping Beauty um, bag, and Cinderella socks were not my favorite. Um, these kind of seemed like they were geared again to a younger audience, um, but cute. Still very cute. Let's go ahead and move on to shelf love crates. And spoiler card on top, the theme for this was take flight. Right on top we have a tote bag. Oh my gosh, it's Harry Potter based. Oh my gosh, Owl Post Service. And then it says, property of the Ministry of Magic Outpost. That is so cool. And then we have the Ministry logo. And it says, do not feed owls, Ministry decree. Oh my gosh. And it has like leather at the bottom and it's just a drawstring bag. Oh, I love this so much. That is so cool. Wow. Harry Potter item. You guys know I'm gonna love it. Next we have, ooh, we have a book sleeve. And it says, you can keep the glory. I'm just here for the blood. This is actually based off Nevernight. Oh, I have actually still have yet to read that. Um, but that's very cool. I love book sleeves. My book sleeve collection is ever growing. Next we have a... Oh, it's a Maleficent keychain. This is a very pretty keychain. She has like a little heart. She looks very nice in this keychain. I don't know if she is that nice, like, <laughs> but she looks very, very friendly. This must be in preparation for the new Maleficent movie coming out, which I will definitely watch because I am a big fan of the first one. Again, if you've been following me for a while, you know keychains are not my favorite item to get anymore. So I will probably give this away or put it in my giveaway box. Um, but yeah, it is a very pretty keychain. So that's cool. Next we have a bookmark and it says, Dream Me the World. This is actually inspired by the Raven Cycle. I've read the first book in that series um, and I really like it, that's very pretty. Ooh, and we have an enamel pin. Ooh, Ketterdam, oh, this is inspired by Six of Crows. Ooh, hold the phone. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love Six of Crows, that entire series. I love this pen. That is amazing. And next we have our collectible chess pieces. This, of course, is Rowan from Throne of Glass. I can tell because of the face tattoo. And then we have Rysand from the Akatar series. These two guys are my, like dream book boyfriends. <laughs> I would be okay with either of these. I love these little chess pieces. These are so cute. I think these might be my favorite so far. Ah, <sighs> it's a dream. 
And guys, I've seen the book and I've done it again. <laughs> and it is the Merciful Crow, which I have already gotten in my fairy loot box. <sighs> but this one is actually not signed by the author. We just got a book plate to put in there. And we don't have a reversible dust jacket, but other than that, everything is the same. Um, so we still have the author's signature. I'll just place it in there. And we also uh, got a bookmark, which is the cover of our spoiler card, Shelf Love Crate, on the back. So I'm so sad. I have another copy of this book, which I, of course, will put in my giveaway box. Um, but for those who didn't watch the Fairy Loot vs. Owlcrate, I will go ahead and read the description real fast. But if you've already watched that video, you can skip this. A future chieftain, a fugitive prince, a two cunning bodyguard, and one grumpy gray tabby. Um, fae, fee, fae abides by one rule. Look after your own. As the future chieftain of a shunned cast of mercy killers, she relies on her wits and bone magic, drawn from the teeth of dead witches to protect her band. The crows take more abuse than coins, so when they're called to collect the royal dead, Faye hopes they'll find the payout of a lifetime. When Faye discovers the crown prince, Jasmine and his crafty bodyguard Taven have faked their deaths to escape the ruthless queen, Rusana. Rusanna, she's ready to cut her losses and perhaps their throats. But Jazz offers a deal that she can't refuse. Make sure he lives to see the throne and he'll protect the crows when he reigns. To outrun and outwit the queen, the trio forge an uneasy alliance that is soon tested by old secrets, shifting allegiances, and forbidden feelings. As Rusanna and her band of deadly trackers loom ever closer, the three fugitives must discover what they're each willing to sacrifice to save their own. And again, it really does sound like such a good book. Um, I will be putting this book and the um, signed book plate in my giveaway box for whenever I do giveaways. Um, and I do those mostly on my Instagram, so if you're not following me, feel free to the link is in the description but yeah that was everything from shelf love crate let's take a quick look at the pamphlet we just have interview with the author the photo challenge and then a description of all of the items and next month's theme is the witching hour and it says double double toil and trouble fire burn and cauldron bubble our september crate will put a spell on you it's packed with high quality items featuring some of your favorite witchy characters Ooh, we can also announce that no item in this box is a paper item contents include a useful kitchen item an item you can use at your own risk or display a wearable item and more fandoms include the chilling adventures of sabrina yes the grishaverse Heck yes, A Discovery of Witches, never read, Throne of Glass, I'm dead, I'm already in love with this box, and Practical Magic. Oh. I'm so excited for this box. I can't even. So I'm pretty sure that all four of my book box subscriptions have like a witchy Halloweenish um, theme. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I plan to battle these videos. For September so you guys let me know in the comments down below do you want me to change up the uh, boxes and battle them differently so not owl crate versus fairy loot or shelf love crate versus ledger crate let me know what battles you want to see in the comments down below but guys that was everything from shelf love crate as always you guys will have to let me know what you think what was your favorite item least favorite wow definitely for me the owl post drawstring bag was my favorite but I really liked the enamel pen and chess pieces. Oh, and the book sleeve. My least favorite would probably be the keychain. Not because it's a bad keychain. I just, they're not my favorite item to get anymore. But yeah, a very strong box from Shelf Love Crate. But guys, it is time to announce which box I think won for the month of August. Will it be Shelf Love Crate or Litter Crate? And the winner is Shelf Love Crate. That is right, Shelf Love Crate won again two months in a row. I actually had to think about it for just a minute. After unboxing Ledger Crate, I thought it would be very obvious who I thought won. But then I had a duplicate book from Shelf Love Crate, which is not their fault at all. It is mine because I didn't check. But that kind of threw me a little bit just because I already have that book. And I'm actually really excited to read the book we got from Ledger Crate. But overall, based on the items of the boxes, I'm definitely going to say Shelf Love Crate won. 
Um, even though I did like a couple of the items from Lit Joy Crate, I liked more of the items from Shelf Love Crate. But you guys will have to let me know, do you agree with me? Do you think Shelf Love Crate won? Or do you think Lit Joy Crate should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I have a question for you guys and I really want you to let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about trying another book box subscription in the place of one of the boxes I have now. I can't really decide which book box subscription I want to try next because I want to try all of them, um, but I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> and I've been looking at a few of them on Instagram, watching unboxing videos, but I want you guys to let me know what book box subscription would you be interested in seeing me battle? And a few of you guys have already recommended a few boxes like Unplugged Book Box, um, there's Beacon Book Box, and then I've been looking at um, Unicorn Crates but they are actually bi-monthly, so if I did Unicorn Crate, I could actually do another box and then just switch those for a little bit. I don't know, I can't really decide. So let me know in the comments what you wanna see. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Hey guys. <clears throat> Book box battle. Books, box, box, book, box, battle. I, um, I know her name. What is your name? It starts with the E. Oh, now I gotta look it up. Effie. Mm. Don't have a pencil sharpener. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting too old for this box. <laughs> Ooh, a tote bag. For the blood. Creepy. Oh my God. One grumpy. I'm a leg up, I'm sorry. It's just that truth. <laughs> Obviously.